All right, so let's move on over to this week's episode of Friday Night Smackdown. Um, opening segment, Roman Reigns calls out Adam Pierce. He's pissed off that uh, Adam Pierce made the match happen last week between Kevin Owens and Jay Uso. Um, so, Richard, what'd you think of like Roman Reigns? Uh, you know, t- uh, getting pissed off at Adam Pierce here. You got to be a little more descriptive than that. Uh, I. I, I it was fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no. So anyway, it's take it or leave it. No, it, it was cool. It's just it, it, it's for Adam Pierce. Even though he's a WWE official, it's. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not a fan of opening a show with a promo. You know, yeah. I, 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 I'm one of. That's probably my biggest positive of WCW was they always opened with a cruiserweight match. So yeah, I would have preferred them to have an opening match and then go into a promo than the other way around. Yeah, so totally. Yeah. But this was uh we'll see how this plays out later in the night. Uh next up we saw Big E take on Apollo Cruz for the Intercontinental Championship match here, which was spread out over a couple segments. Great opener here. Yeah. The back and forth athleticism. And then uh they both rolled each other up and the ref counted and they both had their shoulders down. And so the ref said, Hey, it's a draw. And Big E's like, All right, cool, man. It's a draw. And then Apollo was pissed off. He's like, No, we're not going to go out like that. You're the champion. You don't want to go out like that. He's like, Hey, I didn't make the rules. I got to go with it. And I love what Apollo Cruz did. He slapped Big E mm-hmm. and said, No, come on, man. Let's let's go at it again. And that kind of set off key, uh, key, key, I was gonna say, uh, Big E. And uh, they uh, restarted the match. Um, you know, Paul Cruz turned a little heelish there, like a little I, heelish. But I like that because it gives Big E a little more character buildings. Like, you know, at first he was like, "All right, cool, that's how the match ended. All right, let's move on. That's the it." Slap was like a any an energy drainer. Yeah, say. but then for Big E getting slapped, he's like, "No, I'm not going to take that from you, and I'm going to I'll fight." So I like this. They had a you know, and then they restarted the match after the commercials. Um, but Big E ultimately gets the victory here. So. Great on Big E retaining there. Um, do you think Paul Cruz should turn heel at some point just to kind of yeah mix it up? Yeah, I mean, I, I I thought that he should have turned heel in the role that Cedric Alexander has with the Hurt Business. Yeah, but like it fits with either guy, so maybe he could do his own Hurt Business on SmackDown. Yeah, <laughs> grab Ricochet. Own- yeah, get Ricochet over there. Yeah, Mustafa Ali just yeah. in retribution completely. <laughs> so that'll work. Uh, next up, we see Sonya Deville talking backstage uh, with Adam Pierce. So it looks like she's been rehired, non wrestling role, and it looks like she's going to be Adam Pierce's assistant. She had a nice suit, though. I know, dude. She was styling. But uh, yeah, what do you think of uh, Sonya Deville's comments as far as like water in the bridge, even though her best friend's gone and over on Raw, and she lost her job, but she's back. She wants to change her, you know, her or her uh, change how people know of her. I don't know what you think of her kind of maybe like an assistant GM. I'm, I'm fine with it. I mean, it's a restart for her, you know, like it gives them time to kind of figure out exactly what they want to do. While also keeping her present on TV. Yeah. And also, you know, she told Adam Pierce, like, or Adam Pierce, like, I can't get in the ring with Roman. I haven't wrestled in six <sighs> years and, you know, I don't know, you know throw his power around. And Sonya's like, why not? So it was almost like Sonya's like questioning, if you're in charge, why not? Yeah, beat up people who are wrongdoing you. So I wonder if that's going to be the, the Easter egg, the beginning of Sonya becoming like a heel GM. Maybe Adam Pierce, he's so busy, just focuses on Raw, that maybe Sonya can take over SmackDown down the road and just become like a heel GM at some point. So we shall wait and see. Uh, next up, a big shocker was uh, Street Profits defending the SmackDown Tag Championships against the Dirty Dogs, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Root here. Um, great match. The story was uh, um, uh, Montez Ford, his knee was hurt, still kind of beat up from last week, the attack with the drum set and everything here. Uh, but yeah, Richard, great uh, tag match here. This, this was excellent tag team wrestling. Excellent, yeah. excellent tag team wrestling. And then a uh, big shocker, man. Dirty Dogs got the victory. Those the, dirty dogs. I know. I, I was shocked. I mean, that the Street Profits lost just on episode of SmackDown. So um, they've had a great long title reign between Raw and SmackDown collectively. 
So, I, I mean, I, I don't know if there's going to be a rematch probably at Royal Rumble. But, yeah, man, um, big shocker here. But I like Robert Roode and Ziggler got matching colors now so they look more like a unified tag team. So, uh, I feel like this is not over yet. Probably knowing WWE is going to be a lot of rematches back and forth. Um, also, we saw Billy Kay backstage with Riot Squad kind of crying. and uh, she, she eventually joins the Riot Squad, but she put on her resume. She knows how it was. Mosh. Mosh. Yes. Mosh. Yeah, uh, expert but, mosher. So do you, we don't as punks, we don't call it moshing. It's slam dancing. <laughs> yeah. So do you think Billy Kay should be more of a manager now? Like maybe like a sensational I, Sherry? I think she can do everything. She can do whatever she wants. She's so entertaining. Absolutely. Yeah, it's great. I um, mean, the next up was uh, the main event, which pretty much lasted the whole second hour. It was the gauntlet match. The winner will become the new number one contender for Roman Reigns Universal Championship. Um, and going back to the beginning of the show, Roman Reigns told Adam Pierce he had to enter the gauntlet match. So uh, first up was... Uh, hey, hey, remember a, a week or two ago? when I, there, I don't even remember what it was. But it was something that none of us liked. And I said, maybe this is something further down the line for Adam Pierce. Yeah. <laughs> what? And this what is... What's going on with Adam Pierce now? And oh, he's in a power? major story. That's what it was. It was the briefcase. Yeah. 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 Jordan. And I said that maybe this is going to be the start of something where he's abusing his power a little bit or like yeah. showing favoritism. Yeah. And yeah. now where is he? I know. Well, yeah. we pissed off the big dog. Yeah. So, uh, but the opening match here was Rey Mysterio take on Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn has a camera crew now following him because he's just yep. so paranoid and uh, he thinks people mirroring are, mirroring what's going on in the world. I know people out to get him, so he wants proper documentation. Uh, but as soon as he gets in the ring, Rey Mysterio <laughs> clocks him in a quick little squash match here. Uh, but next up, Shinsuke Nakamura comes out Ooh. and dude. The next, like, what, half an hour, Shinsuke yeah, was, was the on. Nakamura show. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, where's this Shinsuke been? We haven't seen him since NXT like this. Yeah. He was on a tear. So him and Ray did their thing. Great, great win over over Ray. King Corbin comes out by himself. Uh, Shinsuke and him. I like how Corbin, you know, he does his slide outside the ring. Rolls yeah, around. I I thought that that way of finishing him off was done brilliantly. Then because then he comes back like in the ring. Yeah, and he's and at it, the perfect level for the Kinshasa. Yeah, great spot there. So, uh, um, you know, Shinsuke gets a second victory in the match. And then uh, Daniel Bryan comes out. Dude, the look on both their faces, they both just yeah. seem very excited and happy yeah. that they're going to go at it. <laughs> Daniel I had to Bryan. rewind that arm bar like three or four times because it oh, was yeah. just like, God, that was beautiful. Yeah. It was like Ricky Steamboat. So yeah. For me, yeah. it's like. I, I love with Shinsuke Nakamura, his performance here. Cesaro, nowhere to be found. So I wonder, will Shinsuke start maybe getting a good singles push now? I, mm -hmm. I, finally, after all these years, we haven't seen it like, you know, since his NXT days. He was such the, like, the most over guy on NXT. So we, we got it on the main roster up until he dumped Cena on his head. Was it? Yeah, I'm trying to remember because he, you know, he had the thing with AJ at WrestleMania after winning the Royal Rumble. That was after, yeah. Yeah. So but, I, I, I you hope know, like, to me that, that that doesn't that's none of that is a negative because he's al almost always had a belt on him. He has done very well for himself in WWE thus far. He's US so far you could tag. argue you could argue that he has had a Hall of Fame worthy career so far. Absolutely, he's also yeah. was one of the best NXT World Champions. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah. You you can look at it as he's not being the, used the way he should be, but he's new to Vince. Mm -hmm. He's new to the guy that matters. He's not new to all of us. And it looks like from what we got last night, and if you if it means anything to anyone, what we got like how did how did Kofi Kingston out of nowhere become the big star that he is now? It was the gauntlet match, yeah, and the the elimination chamber match, yeah, yeah. So, so hopefully it's the beginning of something big. We yeah, really hope. and it yeah. looked—it definitely looked like it. He looked like a bigger star coming out on his own. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then he wasn't um, sharing that entrance. But um, but yeah, no Shinsuke Yo locked up Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan tapped out. I was like, whoa, yep. kind of a shocker here. Uh, but the next up, Adam Pierce comes walking out with his slacks on and like a WWE jacket. I no he had like, it looked like sweatpants. Yeah, man. but no shirt on. Yeah, it was weird. Roman, Jay, and Paul follow behind him. Um, they get in the ring. 
Adam Pierce seemed like a little hesitant, but then Roman comes in, they knocked Shinsuke out, yeah, they super did. kicked him, and then they super kicked Adam Pierce. Yeah, he falls, and, and they dragged him through on top of Shinsuke, counted. Adam Pierce wins the gauntlet, mm -hmm. the new number one contender for Roman Reigns Universal Championship. So, what do you think about that decision there? I'm into it. He heavy. I'm into it heavy. I. I think uh because most people don't know who adam pierce is yeah they don't know how good of a wrestler he is that we're going to get a, a sleeper match at the royal rumble and i hope I, okay so a couple things keep in mind this works out brilliant brilliantly because robin's mad at adam pierce but he's a wwe official so he can't just go up to him and kick his ass like in the hallway because he can get in trouble the kayfabe wise like suspended so how can you beat up or put your hands on Adam Pierce and not get in trouble in a WWE ring. How do we do that? Okay, well, make him the new number one contender. So it's a great strategy. You know what yeah. I mean? So anyway, I, I think it's going to be great. Hopefully, yeah, we'll see at Royal Rumble. Maybe Adam Pierce puts on his old NWA outfit. That's the thing. People need to realize he's a former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, I think like five times. So he has the chops. He is a former champion. So I wonder if they will address that or not. I know Michael Cole threw like that little comment and said, oh, he never was good enough to make it to WWE, which I was kind of like, dude, don't say that. That was a, back a backhanded comment. But anyway, I wonder if we'll see this actually play out to the Royal Rumble or would something happen and like Kevin Owens takes his spot or something. I don't know. Well, it'd be Nakamura. Or yeah, Nakamura. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but I'm all for that. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully, Adam Pierce. I would like to see him, you know, uh, uh, scrap iron, do some. Uh, I would love to actually see him put on a pretty good match with Roman Reigns. That would be yeah. awesome. So yeah. looking forward to it. At least get one match in WWE like that.